I've been recovering from alcoholism one day at a time for 30 years. That's what I've been doing. And let me tell you something. Sometimes my sobriety looks like I just walked into the rooms of recovery. I'm not here to promote one way, a certain way of getting sober, I'm not, because there's many ways of getting sober. And if it works for you, I think that's the right way. I really do. There's no right way of getting sober. The only right way is the one that makes you your life a lot better. That's the right way. But there's a lot of guys on YouTube promoting their methods and how to and you know motivation and all that. If it was that easy, we wouldn't need all this rehab and all these psychotherapists getting helping alcoholics. We wouldn't need all that if it was that easy. Alcoholism is a disease of the mind, the emotions, and physical. It's in three parts. It's in three parts. But I just want to point out something. You know, I've been in recovery, like I said, for a number of years. A lot of people respond on my YouTube channel. And there's a common theme that comes through all the time with people in early recovery. And I'm talking like one day to six months, maybe to a year. And they're having difficulties. Some of them are relapsing. A lot of people don't last. Believe it or not, a lot of people don't get one year in recovery. The first year is the most difficult. But there's one theme, like I said, that comes through all the time when I read the comments. And that is alcoholics, for some reason, when they come into recovery, they think that they are an island. They want to isolate from the rest of the world. They don't want to ask for help or get out there and get some support. They don't want to. We want to, as alcoholics, and I did it myself, as alcoholics, we want to do it by ourselves. And I'm pretty sure that comes naturally because when we are in active alcoholism or active addiction, the world can be a very lonely place. You know, for myself, it was a very lonely place. My world got very small. My friends and family abandoned me. I had to sort of survive one day at a time through this mental insanity, these ups and downs of life caused by active addiction to alcoholism by myself. And I became pretty good at it. I did it for a number of years. I survived by myself when it came to money, housing, food, all that stuff without the help of anybody else. So coming in to recovery, for some reason, well, that's not some reason, that is the reason, we feel that we need to do it by ourselves. We can do this by ourselves. If we throw enough willpower at it, if we throw another, enough energy at it, we will get sober. When we think crazy thoughts, you know, if we throw another enough energy at it, those crazy thoughts will leave. But the reality of it is, we cannot change ourselves. We can't change by ourselves. And that's one of the major cornerstones of recovery. We have to find support from other methods, either psychotherapy, therapists, family members, people in recovery, church groups, friends, girlfriends, family, whoever it may be. We cannot do recovery by ourselves. It's kind of impossible or next to being impossible. If you are a recovering alcoholic, if you are want re recovery and you suffer from the disease of alcoholism, one of the ingredients in getting recovery is reaching out and getting help. And I know it's hard. I believe me, I know it's hard to tell people your crazy thoughts, to share your pain with people, to tell them things you can't do, to tell them things that you're afraid of, to tell them your regrets, your guilt, to tell them like, you know, how do I get a job sober? How do I have sex sober? How do I, you know, I had a problem hanging up the telephone when I was sober, believe it or not. It's, it's crazy. I used to wait around, you know, two or three hours to get my paycheck because I didn't think I had enough, you know, value at my job to ask for my paycheck. So I waited there, having a coffee for my boss to get around to give him my paycheck. And I lived that kind of life. I lived a crazy life. Just because we sober up, it doesn't mean that we have recovery. It just means we have stopped the drinking of alcohol, but the insanity in the behaviors continue. And I'm telling everybody out there who has very small recovery or has a great deal of recovery like myself, we need to reach out. We cannot do it by ourselves. We need to do that. We need to get support. Getting sober 
finding our way in recovery can be very, very difficult, very stressful, very scary, a lot of ignorance. We don't know what to do. It's like we're starting over. It's, it's a crazy way to live. I saw it myself. I was like a fish out of water when I sobered up. And if I didn't get help, if I didn't get support from other people, I wouldn't be where I am today. And I practice that on a daily basis. If my life is not going well, my mental health is not, you know, firing in all pistons for lesser words, I reach out for help. I find that help either in prayer, meditation, sponsorship, or through um, therapy, other people, friends, family, wherever it is. I lean on people in my times of need. I do not isolate. I do not think that I have to do it by myself, but there's one thing I do, and that's I reach out. You don't have to do it by ourselves. We don't have to do it. Most of us have come from crazy upbringings. Most of us have come from abusive relationships. Most of us have been crazy in our lives. Our behavior has been so out of whack. We're ashamed of ourselves, but that's okay. Everybody does it in addiction. You're no different than anybody else believe it or not, but we think we're different. We think we can master the, the, the recovery bit by ourselves. I'm just going on. I'm just rambling. I'm just telling you the same thing over and over again. The main thing I want to tell you, you need to reach out. You need to get some support from other people and learn that you are not an island and the days of alcoholism, behavior, isolating, think the world is against you. You got to take it on or done. Those days are done, okay? Help yourself by reaching out and help others when they need your support. And I guarantee it, I guarantee it that your life, your sober life will improve. And if you're going through hell, just keep walking, do not drink. You'll get through it and things will come together for you, believe it or not. I do the exact same thing that I'm just telling you in this video, I still do it after 30 years. When my life, is going off the rails, I reach out. I reach out. Just remember, we admit it. We are powerless over alcohol and our lives have become unmanageable. We did that, not I, all of us did that, okay? So reach out, get some support, lean on some people, help other people one day at a time and your life will get much, much better or it'll get less stressful, that's for sure. Okay, ciao for now.